Hey guys, welcome to the highlights, video highlights of our Hero 100 bike ride. We did this at Pass Christian, Mississippi, very close to where we live in Gulfport, Mississippi in March 7th, 2020. This is Alistair, this is very first large bike race, organized bike race. Uh, obviously he's debuting his Felt F24X. As you can see, we're rolling up to the start line there. There's a lot of good representation. A lot of folks from the Gulf Coast Bike Club that put this race on. Uh, the Hero 100 supports, uh, it's a fundraiser for people who donate organs. So those uh, people that donate organs are heroes to people that need them for sure. So this is our first chance to get together as a family and go out riding bikes. Several distances available. Uh, this There was a 10 it was a half century and a full century, metric centuries that is, so 62.4, uh, 31, the route ended up being something like 30, almost 31 exactly. Um, anyways, we'll show you some of the video highlights. Uh, Lindsay's wearing the GoPro on top of her helmet. You see some of the shadows there. Alistair's ready, so very patriotic group here. Mr. Ed Holmes is giving the intro speeches. It's me up ahead in the CB jersey with the uh, yellow arm warmers. Turns out this was the very last cold day of 2020 so far. I don't think it's been yeah, below true. 50 degrees. That's Alistair there next to me here narrating the video. So we uh, obviously get everyone together. Ed covers the, uh, he's the leader of the Gulf Coast Bike Club. He gives the intros and he gives uh, the safety orientation for everybody. He kind of explains the route, although we managed to all get lost several times doing this. So, despite the markings on the pavement, I see some of the gear we're riding with. Lindsay's riding with the uh, Map My Ride, or Ride with the GPS, sorry. She's got Ride with GPS directions on her phone. She's riding a brand new Trek Ferv 3. That's her hybrid bike. We started riding that. And again, Alistair's covered down his uh, Felt F24X. You see me up there, that's my giant Contend 3. Obviously, sport the shades. Looking super cool. And again, this is the last cold day of the year, as it turns out. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, we have a good ride. Looking forward to it. If you got bikes, be sure to turn them on. Make sure you got helmets. Everybody get facing this way. I'm just going to say a few words. Is this first ride? The point was to be in the back. What happened? Okay. So announcements are over, time to roll. Everyone flipped 180, a little confusion on that. Exercising my usual tactic of starting in the back, moving up front to catch everybody. Let the bulk of the group get out of the way. And Alistair saddles up and off they go. So we're going to speed this up, cover some of the routine the long miles because this was a long road. Taking this first opportunity here in the first half mile to collect back up as a family. Form check on little man, make sure he's hanging tough. Come on, let's go, let's go. We gotta on keep arms up. says he's ready for more. It's the first real race of the season for me. I'm Really excited to get back after it here. So I'm going to run up ahead and hit the 50K route. Yep, Team Daily 3 wide. So if you want to see the details of my route, again, I ran the 50K or attempted to, got lost along the way. The uh, turnaround of the 50K was funny, so you can see that on Strava, I ended up in somebody's horse pasture, I think. Uh, details of that ride, of course, all booked there on Strava. I was pretty excited. I did catch a pretty nasty pinch flat in the rear on the way back. Uh, on the downhill section, I was pretty unhappy about that. Uh, I will be discussing my conversion to tubeless over that. I was pretty unhappy with taking a flat at that speed. But anyways, here's uh, Lindsay and Little Man. They're coming down the approach on the Gulf Coast itself. 
uh, headed towards Bay St. Louis. So just a just a beautiful ride. First few miles, definitely the most scenic. You got a very strong tailwind pushing you out there too. And you know what a strong tailwind means for the way back. So, uh, but the first few miles, just glorious. So we're running along at, uh, at, at fast speed here. And you can see from the flag right there is a very stiff tailwind. Winds out of the east this morning. And that is the Gulf of Mexico to your left. And we'll break out of uh, break out of fast speed in just a second here. This is a portion of this. We're particularly proud of Alistair's riding effort and his uh, grit in just a second here as we come out of the tailwind portion and come up to a bridge climb. So form check still hanging tough, looking good. So here we go, bridge climb. We'll show this in regular speed here. Can we climb this hill? So again, and when you live in southern Mississippi, you don't get a chance to take on hills. Bridges are the closest thing you got, so you got to take every chance you can. Uh, this one's pretty funny because you got a heavy crosswind that turns into a headwind. And again, just keeping that cadence, thumping along, keeping that cadence. Shift down if you need to. Climbing determined. It's a long bridge. That's that effort we're not right there. Sure where we're going. Just putting in the work. <laughs> putting in the work, looking strong, doing it. Again, it's about 50 degrees, so if you're accustomed to Gulf Coast yeah. weather, that's pretty cool. Because 
and a lot more miles like this. Long, long stretch. Again, this is into a headwind. You can see the grass bending right at him. And Alistair's hanging tough. So we're going to show this at fast forward. See, Alistair insisted on the SpongeBob jokes because he's got SpongeBob jokes and lots more jokes. And unfortunately, our GoPro camera battery died. The battery died just before they finished. So you got most of the race here. You see some of the orange markings on the pavement. Uh, talked about the 50K. I did not find my corresponding arrows, but hey, what can I say? Again, this is the last. I think they got to within half a kilometer of the finish line before the GoPro battery died. So we're going to cut right ahead to the finish and then show you some finish line footage. Five hours later. Hey, Believe guys. it. What's up, buddy? Guess what? What? I found a marble rock in a sand pit. Whoa. I'll show you. Oh, that's really cool. That's a that's a pretty smoothed over piece of quartz. Quartz. Quartz, yeah. It's like a pretty nice uh pretty nice piece of quartz. Alright, dude. You wanna hop on your bike? Yeah. Okay. Super smooth. Yeah. No, I knew it would be. <laughs> I'm so proud of you though climbing the bridge. Yeah, that bridge with the wind at the same time, it's like super hard. <laughs> yeah, climbing with a headwind. Yeah. But I bet it's even harder with the camera on your head. So yeah, Lizzie. Really <laughs> yeah. Well, for me. Well, thanks for coming along with us. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with uh, this is our first attempt at video editing here on iMovie so conditions can only improve from here. Thanks for coming along with us till then